Hi, I'm Kaikida from I'm View. I'm a creator, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to create your own customized catalog icon. This is my first tutorial on anything, so you shouldn't expect it to be too professional. When we're done with this, you should have an icon that looks somewhat like all these here. I'm going to be creating this dress as an icon. So the first thing you want to do is set up your picture for your pose. So I'm just going to pick a random pose. And you want to use the star high res no background to get a perfectly transparent PNG image. Star high H I R E S N O B G. Now this takes a picture and your avatar will confirm it by nodding. And GIMP or Photoshop, whatever you're using, you go to File, Open, and for me I've saved it on my desktop. Well, it's automatically saved on your desktop. You want to find your image. I have a lot of images. There it is. This is where you really begin to make your icon. So, I've only used one image. You can use as many as you need to take as, as many pictures as you want as the full dress. I recommend taking two pictures of the front, one of the back. This shows off the whole image for your icon. Now, you want to duplicate the image by going here. There's two squares. In Photoshop it may be a bit different, but I'm not sure. You're going to use the rectangular select tool to basically highlight an area of your image that you want to crop. I usually like to get in an image of the face and the shoulders of the item I'm wearing. You go to layer, crop to selection, and that only crops that first duplicated image. So, instead of drawing another square tool, another square box, you want to go to the move tool, drag and pull your image up. Mind you, you'll be on a new layer, so you're not affecting the one that you just cropped. And just angle it to where you want to crop the dress at next. And again, you do the same thing. Layer, crop to selection. And I'm going to choose to do this one more time with another layer just to show the bottom of the dress a bit. Layer, crop to selection. So now you have your three images and these will be the images that flash as your icon but it's not yet a animated image. So if you want to put a background on your image, this is what you do. You can go create a new layer and just use the foreground or background color, which you can see right here, foreground, background. I'm just going to choose to do the background color, it doesn't really matter. And you want to move that down to the back of every image. So it's all your images are in the front. Duplicate that background color and put it in between each photo, but not over top of the first photo. Let's see here. Next you go to image, crop to selection. This brings it all down to one size, so it's really easy to work with. Then you go to image, scale image to the IMVU icon size. This is standard for all your icons in the IMVU catalog, so you don't have to worry about it being too small or too big. This size is 100 by 80. This will make your image very, very small from what it was originally. But it still looks good. Okay. Now, some creators, they have um, their name going over the top of the image. You can choose to do that. All you have to do is prep one and add it by going to File, Open as Layers, and opening that image you have ready. Now to start making this into an animation is really very simple. You go to
go to filters, animation, optimize for GIF. GIF is like how you save your picture when you want it to be animated. PNG, it'll be static. So now you can see that over here your layers box has changed and you now have these numbers in it. 100 is really fast, your image will flash by and I'll actually show you that. You go to animation, playback. And your image flashes by really quickly, as you can see. What I forgot to mention is, if you don't want this little black box stopping between each picture, all you need to do is merge it down to the layer, to the black box layer. Right click, merge down. So all your original images are connected to that black background image. But I don't want my icon to go that fast, I want it to go at a pretty steady rate. So you change each of those 100s into 1000s. And now we're going to play it back. This should be your result. And now you have your icon image. All you have to do is go to File, Save As. Save it as whatever you want to call it, blah blah blah, dot. G I F GIF G I F. That way when you save it it'll play back and when you go to save it actually be sure that you select save as animation. I'm not sure if they also give you that option in Photoshop but in GIMP they will. So be sure not to merge the visible layers but instead to save as an animation. Everything else is just default settings. And yeah, that's how you make your own animated icon image.